This morning, Dallas police releasing video of the double murder inside of Methodist Dallas Medical Center. We told you about this story. Two healthcare workers, they were shot and killed allegedly by an ex-con who was cleared to visit his girlfriend in that hospital. And police are sharing the video as an act of them being transparent. But we have to warn you, as Doug said, it'll take your breath away. It is violent, it is raw, but it is what happened. Our Steve Pickett reports. Police call it capital murder. Suspect Nestor Hernandez seen in this surveillance image entering the labor and delivery unit for Methodist Dallas Medical Center. Social worker Jacqueline Puqua and nurse Katie Flowers both shot and killed. Some of this release video has been blurred, but it documents the moment suspect Hernandez allegedly started shooting inside Methodist Dallas. The video, recorded by the body cam attached to hospital police sergeant Robert Ranhell. What happened? Hey, watch out, man. Watch out. Police claimed Hernandez had pistol whipped his girlfriend, who had given birth at the hospital the day before this attack. Throw that gun outside, partner. Come on, work with me. Sergeant Ranhell fired one shot, hitting Hernandez, and for the next 15 minutes, he tries to get Hernandez to surrender. Can you come out over here, please come out. Come outside. Okay, listen, we can work this out, partner, okay? All I want to do is just get the people outside, please. Come on, your hands up. Come out in the hallway. You can hands up. Hands up. Okay. Don't shoot him. That last voice you hear is believed to be Nestor Hernandez's girlfriend. She does not ask about those nurses. Instead, she is asking that police officers do not shoot and kill the man now accused of killing those health workers. In Dallas, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News. Tough.